in my first year of sawmilling, everything I cut was for my own use. But now I have an order for a specific amount of a specific size of alder for a cabinet making project. And I'm not going to get rich off this order. It's a gift from my daughter and son-in-law who want to build cabinets with trees cut from and milled on the old man's property for cabinets in their new home. I had some alder down from last year and I didn't know exactly how much was up on the hill. So I drove up to take a look at it and see if it would be suitable for their project. It had been down well, for six months or more and I had no idea what condition it would be in, whether it might have started spalting, which might be desirable for cabinets, but only if you could get it all spalted. There were obstacles in the way, so I used my winch cable to drag down the first log. And my son-in-law wants boards one and a quarter inches thick and six inches wide and others eight inches wide. Not very big logs, but too big to let go to waste. I can probably drag this down by hand, but no, no hero stuff. No young man stuff. He said, he rolled down the hill. God damn. Every time I go to the doctor's office, I say, have you fallen lately? When we were in the woods, tripping over things. I need a glove for this. Because that cable is frayed in a couple of places. I think I'm going to have to cut down a new tree. I already looked at the remaining suitable alders on this property and I found one which is both large and straight. Cable's balling up on one side of the reel because we are not anywhere near lined up. God damn it. Driven again. Let me get this swung around a little bit. That's better. There's one. Cable's all balled up on one side of the spool, and that's why it jammed and stopped. Yeah, we got it. Okay. Now we turn this around. Hook up the cables. We have some more obstructions to deal with. This is where I turned over last year. But if I back down here, pull up there, back up there, I can do it without turning over. I think. I don't know why work glove manufacturers insist on selling gloves in pairs. It should sell singles. So when your right glove wears out, 
you can go buy new or right one. You don't have to go buy two more. I got about six, five or six half worn out, but still serviceable or left hand gloves. But right hand gloves wear out first because I'm right handed. I'd like to go buy one right hand glove. Seems logical to me. Well, one out of two is customary. At least the other one's down here in the driveway. I decided I needed to move some dirt to level out some pathways to maneuver the ATV on. Side hill is hazardous on an ATV just as it is on a tractor. The ground is very soft and unconsolidated but full of rocks. Easy digging except for the rocks. Now I have a more level path to get the rest of these logs. Should work. And logs are small enough, I wrap the cable around twice to lessen the chance that the hook will let go, which it often does anyway. Those little spring-loaded aluminum gates are supposed to keep the cable within the hook. But they're so flimsy they broke the first time I used them. Duct tape works well to hold the cable within the hook. But of course, I didn't have any duct tape with me. Or so I thought. Oh, look at that. Duct tape.
Oh, oh, we still have two. I spent the rest of this day getting the other four logs down. All of this was a distraction from the true object of this expedition, which is to bring down good wood to fill my son-in-law's order for cabinet wood. The large straight alder that I'd selected was farther up the hill above any of the other trees I'd cut down. I would not be able to get the ATV anywhere near that tree unless I dug a lot of new trail. I'd have to resort to tying all of my long ropes together and pulling logs straight down the hill through the woods. This is the tree I want. It is probably the straightest alder on this property. I need to fell it right down through here. So we have three leaners in the way. I don't know if this is going to be in the way. I think it is. Two here. Or they'll interfere with the fall of this one. I want it right down the trail to the right of that stump. He's taking out this little dead one, one next to it in the big leader. And these two. When I cut this, I'll leave the hinge thicker on this side because it looks like it's leaning just a little to the right. I want this side of the hinge to break last. So, get those three, come back and get these two, and then the keeper. You probably ought to cut that stump because if I land on that stump it might break this tree in half. Might get some bowls out of that stump too. Now this is one of the trees I need to cut. I girdled it two years ago. Stopped the sap rise, but did not cut it last year. 